All right. Next, we have Bubble. I met this founder in a Hong Kong Starbucks three years ago, and now I'm reunited with him backstage here at Web Summit. So that's quite an amazing story. So what Bubble does is they are introducing a new way to build an app. It's a point and click programming tool for web and mobile. No prior coding experience is needed. So he's doing very well. So to tell us more, please welcome out co-CEO and founder, Emmanuel Strasnov. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here. I'm Emmanuel Strashnov, founder of Bubble, and extremely excited to be here. In 2019, we're used to saying that everybody needs to be online, businesses and individuals. Software is eating the world. And we used to think that that meant people needed a website. But now we're realizing that it's actually a little bit more complicated than this. And what you really need is an application mainly a website that can manipulate data, have functionality, and connect to external services. And the challenge with this is today, if you're not an engineer, you're going to have to hire an engineering team to do so. And this is extremely expensive and slow. It's fair to say today that engineering is the biggest bottleneck of the business world. That's what Bubble solves by changing who builds your software. What Bubble is, it's a visual framework that lets you build web applications for non-technical and technical people alike. You build it in our editor, and we host everything for you. How does it work? You design your interface element by element. It's not templated in any way. And then you define functionality by doing something where you can see here, saying, when the button sign up is clicked, you sign the user up, you change, charge the user for a paid service, for instance, send an email, and change the page. Today, we have the feature set that is necessary to build something such as Airbnb, Twitter, or even Facebook. One of our users cloned Twitter in four days just to play. How far can you go with something like this? Well, something we hear often about no-code tools is that it doesn't scale. It's great for prototyping. Well, let me share some stories. Our biggest user in San Francisco has raised over $300 million and processed over a billion dollars of loans through a bubble build platform. Three teams went to Y Combinator. Another team in Paris raised $15 million. Bubble is built for scale. If Airbnb were started today, it could very much be built without engineers. We started in 2012. Bootstrap for seven years, being profitable to build the product to now be ready for expansion. We just raised a round, and starting with our 300,000 users, are now ready to uh, expand much more massively. I'll finish by talking why are we doing this. We're doing this because computer literacy, to me, is the biggest challenge that technology will have to solve in the coming decade. Today, if you're not an engineer or if you don't have access to capital, you will not be able to use software to solve problems in your local communities. Tomorrow, whether it's five to 10 years from now, if you don't know how to program, you will not be able to find a job. We try to teach people how to code, and the truth is, a decade into this experience, it's actually not working as people expected. So we need to change the tools, and that's what Bubble does. Thank you very much.